Genesis. 1200 pound horse. Guys, we are here Yo. with my little sister Courtney's horse. <laughs> We're at the barn. We're at the barn right now. <laughs> Country things. <laughs> Country stuff, guys. <laughs> so today we're doing a photo shoot with Courtney because her birthday's coming up. So she's gonna do some shots with the horse. And it's Reef's first time seeing her horse Genesis. Yeah, it's my first time. What did you think of it? I mean, it's a very beautiful horse, you know what I'm saying? But you still gotta be careful. You know what I mean? Because you never know. I've seen them videos when them horses be kicking back. I hope so. I see him giving me the eye. He be looking at like, like, no, no. <laughs> He's like, yo, who are you? Seen you before. <laughs> Honestly, you know I wish I wish horses could talk so we know what they're saying. Yeah. But it's really cool, guys. Now we're in this um little part of the barn where she's like taking her horse out so we can do runs and stuff, so she can basically tire him out. So when we do the photo shoot, he's not like super energetic because he's a baby. He's only two years old. You guys know I have to call the best photographer. Yeah. yeah. Out. So. Out is dead. <laughs> so I'm gonna be putting in that work today. Yeah, yeah he's gonna do a really good job and it's gonna be beautiful shots. My sister's wearing actually like a top and a skirt, so she's gonna be really cold. It's like negative three degrees right it's now. It's risky. Look. Yeah. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's cold. It's cold. Our breath is coming out. Right That's okay. Yeah. So stay tuned. I guess we'll show you more Genesis, but he is beautiful, brown like a horse. Stay tuned, y'all. Say hi. I'm trying to be shy now. I know, right? <laughs> he was just doing the most. I feel like I'm in a country movie. Guys, it's actually so crazy to see just how big their bodies are, and especially how big their heads are. Just so much larger than ours. They're beautiful creatures though, like majestic. It's a new dawn, it's a new day. <laughs> it is now. Hold on, let me check the date. Let me check the date. Let me check the date. Thursday, January 25th. Yeah. Um, and we are on our way to an event for Raptors and McDonald's. Yeah, it's a youth charity event. Yes, which is so exciting because Reef is actually going to be playing basketball. <laughs> Can you believe that? Like, right? Reef is a soccer man, not a basketball player. I'm a soccer man. player, not a basketball player. I know yeah. a one two still, you know? Yeah. But, so, we're going to yeah. see just how well he does today. They asked him if he wanted to play. He said yes. Yeah. Which, yes. I'm glad they didn't ask me because you know your girl would not be on the court like that. <laughs> it's an all star, like, event, basically. And basically, it's called the Power of Threes. So, they're going to do, like, you know, the stuff that they do in the all star. Um, games this weekend where they do three point shots skill competitions all that good stuff and then there's a main game it's pretty cool we're gonna be coached by one of the raptors player his name is like grady d word like what type of name the man has the name i don't it's know not grady d you okay. know what i'm saying if you guys know what it called what it, what it is but it should be exciting i'm excited I don't know how to play, but, and I have a shoulder injury, you know what I'm saying? And so, I was telling him, you need to really be careful out on that court because if you mosh up your shoulder even more, because it's a lot of like, depending on if you're the shooter or not, yeah. but like then you gotta dribble. Dribble and in, all that good stuff. Just watch your arm, man. Amen. Can't afford it. Imagine if it just falls off on the court. <laughs> So excited, y'all gonna see. We're gonna take you guys with us. This is what we do, man. We're supporting the youth. Basically, every three pointer scored is like a hundred and thirty-three dollars that's gonna be um, given to charity. You that's know what I'm saying? Cool. So we're going out there to support the event. Mm -hmm. um, we are not being paid for this. We told them we'll just come out, show love to the youth, and that's what Chris and Reef do, man. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, so it stay be tuned. Let's go. All right, y'all. We walking in right now. We're walking in, and I don't know why I'm nervous. Nervous? Because <laughs> don't want your arm to fall off. No, I'm good. I'm good. You're well. Okay. Yeah. I wonder if there's a pool in here. Yeah, there's a community center, so I think there's a pool. Mm. All right, so we gotta figure out where we're going. Welcome. So we power oh, there we go. Yes, sir, Ski. All right, y'all. Y'all see me, man. I got my jersey. Yeah, you ready to cheer me on? I honestly am. I've never been a cheerleader, but today I will be. Yeah. Yeah. She's going to be my cheerleader, yeah. yeah. Do you think I would actually make a good cheerleader? Yeah. Should we do, like, a practice run? Yeah, yeah let's do it down there.
good. After having a spectacular MVP game, <laughs> shutting down players, blocking. <laughs> you guys missed the dump, bro. Y'all in the scene, I have bunnies. I don't even know where they came from. Kyrie going crazy in the scene. You feel streets. me? So, get a little drink, you know? Replenish my energy. Yeah, get some energy in there, some collagen. You know what I mean? For your skin. Some protein. Yeah. Yeah, and some fruits. Mm -hmm. What kind are you gonna get? I usually get the strawberry sunshine. You get a mango hair cake. Yeah. That's out there. I was moving like a hurricane, you feel me? When I was coming down the court, the mats was skating. And I mm. mean, the wind was blowing them. Oh. So, it is what it is. Well, would you look at that? Yeah. <laughs> Even with the energy drink, your boy still can't manage. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, you know? Body is feeling it right now. Yep. I haven't been like physically active like that in probably like two years, man. Two years, but I'm getting back. You feel me? I'm getting back in shape because, you know what I'm saying? This summer, back on the soccer field. We're gonna be kicking ball, we're gonna be playing, we're gonna be super lit. But right now I'm feeling a little sore. <laughs> That's okay, it's part of the grind. <laughs> so right now we actually just stopped at the mall so we can pick up some Chick-fil-A. Um, we came out of our way to come to this mall because it's hard to find Chick-fil-A in most places and we were all the way down at Scarborough coming to Mama Jones' house. So we had to stop where we could to get that Chick-fil-A, you know? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Yeah, so as expected, there is a line for Chick-fil-A. We knew this would happen. It's worse in downtown Toronto, but you know how it goes. When we're hungry, we gotta get what we want. So, <laughs> it is what it is. How do you feel? Listen, man, I'm hungry right now, so I'm awake. I mean, we drove all the way here anyway, so. Right, so we can't turn back now. We're doing this for y'all. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm just trying to joke with my wife. Why are we gonna wait up for the fight right now? Yeah, because basically you guys are eating with us, right? They're eating with us? Polynesian, and I know a lot of y'all eat that nasty ass Chick fil A sauce. If you come to Chick fil A, you can only get Polynesian. Like, you get what I'm saying? Do you like Chick fil A sauce? No. Like, what is that? So, if you eat Chick fil A below, Chick fil A, only pull up with the Polynesian. I'm just wondering whose child is that? Whose child is that? <laughs> so She's not even like eating a burger. She's on the wall. What's going on? So every time Reef makes an order out in public or on the phone, they'll ask for his name and he'll say that his name is John. So I don't know how he does it because when it's a packed um, restaurant like this and they call your name because your order's ready, I don't know how you'd be looking yeah, for your order I, I when you call for, John. I look for the name John. But today, Kristen gave her name, so I have we're good. To, because I will not you need be looking out a, for the name John. I'd be like, oh, that's not my order. You need to make an alias. I'm good. Let's call you like, um. <laughs> Pinky. <laughs> Pinky, you already ready to Pinky? Pinky? <laughs> nah, I'm good. <laughs> Secured. Secured the bag, you know what I'm saying? So tell them our usual order. Our usual order is two spicy chicken combos and on the side I'll get like spicy uh like what nuggets? Do you call them? spicy nuggets. But obviously I'm not doing that today. That's just a little bit too extra. That's when I wanna be extra extra. I'm just doing a spicy sandwich right now. Guys, something about being in the mall makes me so excited. I try to get him to come into stores with me. I even <laughs> just now she's trying to tell me to go shopping. I'm like, no. Why? Because I saw a sign and it said extra 50% off sale. Nah, I'm good. So why not? Because we don't, I don't Why are you walking to. out the door? Because I, I gotta eat. I'm hungry. Are you serious right now? Yeah. Where are you going? You don't want to take a peek? You want to look around a second? Gotta eat. Wow. Well, one thing about Kristen, whenever we order something, she never orders a drink. As you can see, I have one drink. And then we get in the car, and then she's she's like, oh, can I have some of your drink? Like, why didn't you buy yours? No, Every but we, we just ordered booster juice. <laughs> the juice is done. I know your throat is that long. There's no wow. way you still have booster juice. Like, there's okay. no way you still have booster juice. Okay. This is how you remind me what? of what I really am. My skater boy. <laughs> what? You look like a skater boy. <laughs> you what? Yeah. So what would you do if I told you I had to be a stripper? <laughs> I feel 
like one in this, like yeah. a little pimp mama, you know? So I'll, like, be, I'll be your sugar daddy. Would you actually? You'd pimp me up? Hell no. No? I don't think I could do it. Why not? I can't. You wouldn't want me sharing my goodies? No. Okay, what if I was just dancing on the pole, but like, I didn't let anyone touch me, and I was just in a, a bikini? No. I couldn't do it. Why? I just couldn't do it. But why? Like, you have to explain yourself. Because it's like, just knowing that you have other guys romanticizing and fantasizing about what oh, they, they could do that online. But you're not online dancing on a pole. <laughs> it's different. But they hate. And you have to take it off. But they could take my face, AI, and put it on a girl dancing on a but pole. But it's not you. What would you do if I was dancing on the pole? No. And then the girls were there and I was shaking it. That's not even sexy. Like, when guys are You know the thing I do clothes, when I slap it on the two sides Let's of the legs? Let's not even go there. Let's not. The airplane that you like? Do you want that? Exactly. Anyways, y'all. If you don't take your fry and dip it in the Polynesian sauce, what are you really doing? Mm -hmm. If you don't have your burger and dip it in the Polynesian sauce, mm -hmm. what are you really doing? Mm -hmm. Like, that's a hit. You know what's crazy? If you were to try, like, McDonald's fries with the Polynesian sauce, it doesn't hit the same. No, it wouldn't. If you were tr to try any other fries with McDonald's sweet and sour sauce, it does not hit the same. Mm -mm. It literally, like, Goes hand in hand with the with the bread, or maybe we're just so conditioned to having the Polynesian with this type of fry that we can no longer see ourselves with any other type of fry. I guess. So do you good. eat your burger first, or do you eat your fries first? Burger Kristen, for sure. Kristen eats her burger first. I eat my fries first. I feel like you gotta save the burger for last because it's like the main. It's like so satisfying eating the burger. Mm -hmm. Hmm. When you eat the burger first and then you eat the fries, it's like your meal finished ass. So like your meal didn't finish like great, like because you just finished with fries. With me, I have to eat the burger first because it's the most um, filling. Yes, yeah, the most filling. Um, I I can't even think of my words. Okay. What word am I looking for? It's the most filling item from the order. Okay. So because my stomach is so small and I can't eat too much, mm. I usually don't eat too much, I have to start with the most filling thing first. So then mm. whatever room I have left over, I can then go in for the small side. So let me ask you something then, right? Yeah. Because I don't believe what you're saying is true. It is. The reason why I don't believe that, I've been with you for seven years. You eat a full meal. So I'm super full. <laughs> and two seconds later, you will find yourself in the cupboard eating a snack. How are you full, but you're still eating a snack? Make That's it make sense. Different. My my stomach has different compartments. So what happens? <laughs> yeah, are you hearing though. this? If you open up my stomach right now, it will be spliced into three. A place for meat, a place for sides, and a place for sugary treats. <laughs> I'm telling you, there will be outlines. Okay. Yeah, so you're no matter one how big ass stomach. No matter how full you are, you can still find space for the snacks after your meal. A hundred percent. That is so crazy. It's not. Guys, comment down below if you agree. No, I'm so full, you're full. How could you eat more? No. It doesn't work like that. Because it's like once you're full, you can still drink. Right? No, yes, a little bit, but not too much. Because then your belly's going to feel like it's popping about to pop. Well, yeah, I'm not going to eat a full, like, crepe, like an ice cream crepe. Maybe, like, three scoops of ice cream or, like, little snacks, like, Little watermelon treats. Full is full. No, he doesn't get it. Comment down below. Whose side are you on right now? I'll never get it. <laughs> I forgot to ask a serious question. What do you think about the mob wife trend? Mob wife? <laughs> What's the mob wife? How did I know he was going to be lost? Like Mo like a real Italian mob wife? <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, there's this trend going around right now. So it used to be like girls were really into the clean girl aesthetic. Which is like, you look very natural, you look clean, um, you're wearing pastel colors, and you're just living a clean lifestyle. Now, we're getting into the mob wife um, trend where girls are wearing fur coats, and they'll wear like dark makeup around the eye, maybe a dark lip. What do you think about that? First of all, the Italian girls are going crazy on TikTok because everyone else who tries to dress up as a mob wife who's not Italian, they're like getting at them saying, you know, this is not a trend for you, but... 
Luckily, I'm half, so I could, I, listen, I'm mobbing out. <laughs> but what do you think about the trend? Um, I think do what you want to do. Okay. You look good, you look good. Okay, would you prefer the clean girl aesthetic or the mob wife? I care about however you look good, you look good. <laughs> <laughs> don't care. It could be clean. Guys could never. Listen, these trends. Like, it's not even, these trends need to, to just move. Like, yeah. every day there's a new trend. That's true. Like, who has time to keep up with that many trends? First of all, the Stanley Cups are going wild. Who the fuck? We don't give, who cares? We don't even use that shit. I know. <laughs> that, that is not for our demographic. <laughs> like, what? The big old Stanley Cup? <laughs> Like, who's trying to walk around with a big old jug on their hand? Like, you ever see that that video that's like how girls look with carrying yeah. their Stanley Cup and the cup is freaking Huge. larger than them? It's so funny. It's Comment down below. What do y'all think about the mob wife trend? Maybe I'll insert some pictures of like what it actually looks like and you guys can rate it down below. So. But you've been wearing this. You've been doing I this know, right? that whole trend thing. So. Yeah. What's the difference? It's just girls tend to do that nowadays. I think it's the Gen Zers. Um, so literally, like, light blue nail polish, they started calling blueberry polish. What? And it was, like, this huge trend. They were saying, like, oh, I need to get blueberry polish. That's ridiculous, bro. <laughs> Honestly, the best time to have a business mm -hmm. is now with these it's guys true. changing everything and mm -hmm. wanting to be hip. Just come up with something hip and you'll be a millionaire. But the, the issue is you have to keep up with the trends and trends change every week. What do you do? You have to keep up with the trends if you want to be a follower. No, I'm saying if, if, you're, you're, a leader, if you're running a business where you're selling trendy oh, stuff, yeah. you have to keep up with the trends. How do you? How would you do that? I don't even know. That's a good question. Do y'all like when cars make hella noise? I know he loves it, but I'm just like, why? The car. The way you feel about trends is the way I feel about loud cars. Like, why? <laughs> why? Don't you want to ride smooth? The thing is, there's levels. <laughs> okay. There's levels to this shit. Okay. You need a big whip, and you uh -huh. hear it coming down the road. They're like, damn, that's a fire whip. Or you just become a target, and somebody wants to take your whip, because they know you're coming, and when you're going. Not too. That's, that's a valid point. <sighs> Men. We should go ahead and get married. We should go ahead and get married. I don't want to put a rush on. Hope I ain't put it too much on Way more than a crush on you And you love it when I touch on you Yeah, I feel why I ain't take time, honey